Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and here we're going to be showing you some style tips and also outfit ideas for plus size fashion in Indian wear. So if you're still new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell button so you don't miss a video whenever we upload a new one. And we've got more Indian wear style tips on our channel. You can also check that out and you can also follow us on our social media for latest updates on fashion for men, women and kids. Now let's move on to the video. So number one is always wearing a black colored hue. Now this can also be in any sari, salwar kameez, but you can see that we've got a silk sari in black, plus it's got this small or thinner border in gold, so you don't want to overpower the length or the horizontal lines on your body. So we've also kept the booties very simple, plain, not a lot of embellishment. And remember, if you're going to wear a silk sari, it should be a soft silk sari like this one is, or you can go for any black sari, which is a in a soft fabric or a silk fabric which is soft you don't want to wear something like a cotton sari which stays away from your body you want that the sari sticks to your bed so this is a great way to wear a sari if you're a plus size lady Next is wearing anarkalis. Now anarkalis that you can choose need to be flared from your mid level or your empire line instead of something which is giving you more fullness like you can see this one has a little bit of kalis which are flared from your mid line or your empire line this is perfect and if you're going for any outfit or anarkali which has embroidery like this one keep it in small booties or intricate patterns instead of those large patterns plus it's a full sleeve so you you know that it's going to work well to cover your heavy arms now if you come back to the bottom part you can see that it's also not very full flat but it's a medium flat and it's also got this embroidery another good part about this anarchy is that it's got a flowy fabric now this is a georgette fabric so yes you can go for something like this so avoid the silk fabrics in anarchies because they stay away from your body so go for softer flowy fabrics like this one and if you also look at the embroidery of the lower panel it is still intricate even though it's in horizontal panel so yes you can also go for something like that now next is kurtas or kurtis if you want to wear kurtis remember that they need to be in a straight cut like this now if you want to wear a straight cut it should at least reach below your knee length or your mid calf length this is perfect uh, you don't want to have your height to be cut out if you wear something which is too short another thing now this is a cotton silk kurta as you can see that it's got this vertical lines in gold again creating a vertical illusion if you look at the bottom as well it's got this pretty nice vertical lines as well and it's not full flared it's a medium flared so don't go for something which is full flared even if it's pants or plazo and if you look at the sleeves it is threefold again it will cover your arms so this is a good way to wear kurtas now you can also go with something which has a lot of prints but this one is in a subtle print so this is great you can also wear leggings but remember if you're wearing leggings it should be in a dark color like black maroon or browns or even navy you don't want to show a lot of your lower part keeping a dark color is great now another example of an anarchy something like this which is in black like i mentioned earlier you can always wear black this is plain black it's cotton silk and you can see that it's flared from the empire line and it also gives a nice a line look even though it's full flared it's in kali so again it gives that night nice fitting now if you don't want to go for something like this you can wear a jacket like this one this look is perfect now you can see it's got full sleeves so it's going to cover your arms another thing is it's flared from your waistline so again the kali's uh, rule still applies here and if you look that it's open from the center line it has all those buttons from the center line so it gives that vertical line illusion now the neck is simple a round neck a v-neck a broad neck or a scoop neck is perfect for ladies with a fuller bust line even the embroidery here is very intricate you can see that it's got this small chain stitch we haven't added a lot of embellished details on it so this is something you can go for you don't want just to have a heavier or bulky effect with a lot of embellished details so keep the embroidery simple even though you can see it's embroidered all over the jacket so jacket type of an articles or jacket type of uh, pieces are perfect to hide all that areas you don't want to show if you are a plus size lady 
Now let's look at some lehengas. Now for a lehenga you can also wear a crop top lehenga like this one. You can see that it is flared from the waistline. There's a small band or we call that a waist patti and it's in kalis. You can see that. Now the color, remember to go for dark colors, is the dark purple. Now what you'll notice is that the fabric is also very flowy. Don't go for stiffer fabrics, especially not cottons or not those heavy silks. Now you can go for something like this. You can also notice that the embroidery on the blouse or the crop top is very small, minimal detail, which is in smaller motifs or something like this will work perfect. Plus you can see it is flared in the sleeve area, so just to add a little bit of detail there, you don't want to show a lot of fitting going on there. So this is perfect. Now if I come back to the lehenga, you can also see that it's been given a ruffle detail from the half or the three-fourth section of the lehenga. Again, to add the detail, look so you can add more flair or give a different look from here now if you don't want to wear a short crop top like this if you're concerned about your tummy area you can wear a blouse or a peplum top like this over your lehenga now this is also in trend it's perfect for plus size figures because it covers your problem area especially your tummy area your hip line and also your arms so this is a good way you can wear or ditch the blouse and go with a full uh, length blouse which is still your lower waistline or something like this which is a semi flared short and narkily look also known as a peplum top so this type of lehengas are perfect again you can even wear an open jacket peplum look if you want to wear something like this now you can notice that the color is yellow here but the embroidery detail in here is darker so you don't want to go overpower it with bright colors and highlight any certain areas and you can see that it's full sleeve so yes I'll repeat this full sleeves are perfect if you come to the lehenga it's in a semi uh, georgette or chiffon kind of fabric very flowy and you can see we've only added one small detail border beneath so you don't want to put broad waters below if you saw the lehenga which was earlier had a ruffle effect so you can wear something like this but don't wear a lot of broader waters on your hemline of the lehenga this will again cut out your height and add a little bit more of broadness and there are no roots to choose your dupatta you can wear any dupatta even if it's a silk but just know how to drape it right or pair it right with your lehenga choli so guys that was all on how you can style indian ethnic wear for plus size ladies and we hope you enjoyed the video we hope you like the tips and if you like the collection you can still shop for it on g3fashion.com or you can also use g3 plus video shopping service thank you so much for watching and if you still have more tips on plus size and you want us to know you can leave it in the comments below also send us some recommendations on what type of next videos you want to see on indian fashion thank you so much for watching if you still haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell button so you never miss a video from us you can follow us on facebook and instagram for daily updates and hit the like button if you like the video